Hello Makeup Void, I'm the Makeup Schizophrenic and welcome or welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I have a bunch of About Face products to try. I have never tried the brand before, so I picked up a couple products, not their whole line, but I did pick up a few, so we're gonna play around with them. And yes, my forehead is illuminated, the sun is rising, and I cannot lower the blinds to cover it up because I have a cat on me. So you can't see him, but Moose is participating in today video so let's go ahead and get rolling most of my base makeup concealer uh, I powdered my under eyes because that need to be taken care of and for I used like a little bit of cream bronzer and for blush I'm going to go into the about face well duh uh, it just fell out of the pan okay Okay, that's great. This is the Cheek Freak Blush Balm in the shade Champagne Room. Now I have to be careful with this, but here is the color. Lighting is a little obscured right now, but yeah, I used this blush yesterday and I already got a cat hair in it, so that's fantastic. And we're just going to apply this to the cheeks. I was pretty impressed with this blush yesterday. I think it has good pigment. It blends out nicely, but I was noticing a little bit where as I was blending it, it just sort of disappeared. And it was just like on the cheekbones that it kind of disappeared. So I was just very confused. So hopefully we don't have that experience today. I am using a pretty dense blush brush to apply this. I like to use more dense brushes when I use cream products and I should have probably tried like using this with my fingers or something but that's just normally how I apply cream products is with a brush so I'm not really into using my fingers with makeup I have been doing it a little bit so you can kind of see where it's kind of fading a little bit where I'm applying the brush or the blush as I'm blending it out. Um, it doesn't disturb anything underneath, but it kind of starts blending into nothing. But you still get some pigment, like it's definitely there, but the blending out is just a little bit weird. So I took a couple seconds to work on blending it and you can kind of see where it just kind of disappears on the skin where there's a lot of pigment down below but as I'm blending it up it just kind of fades it's really weird let me try with a finger on my nose it's very creamy so let's try it with this way I have noticed before when I apply cream products or any blush to my nose that it fades pretty quickly um, it's something I've definitely have been noticing as of late, but we're just kind of doing this for testing purposes, and I do have powder on my nose. So let's see how this goes with my finger and some powder. Um, it's kind of like it's going, but at the same time, it's like... It's kind of removing. I have a very pink nose. It looks like I have a runny nose with my nose being red from using tissues. But it's not really disturbing the product underneath. It just kind of, well, let, let, let me bring my mirror closer so it's in view. Okay, there's like a close-up mirror on my side. Um, I don't think it's removing products, but it's definitely not cute. I don't know, but my pores today look like garbage on a side note. Um, I've been testing a new primer as of late and I don't think it's faring very well. I mean, it fills in my pores a little bit. I was able to reach for the blinds with the cat on me, so I lowered it, so hopefully it looks a little bit better now. I did use my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder to powder, and it covered up a little bit of the blush, not so much on this side. Look at this side. It's really weird. Like, it's not disturbing the foundation underneath, but it just sort of disappears. Like, this side is definitely a lot more pigmented, but this other side, it just looks a little weird. And you can definitely see where I stopped applying the product. So, I don't know. I don't know with this blush. It's just such a pretty color, but it blends out so weird. I don't know what to think about it. And I heard 
that this is a pretty sticky formula where like you need to set it with powder. I always set my cream products with powder so I can't attest to that. I'm definitely going to be playing with this blush a lot more. Again, this is only my second time using it. So let's go ahead and go into lips for the lip liner. And also I don't have any lip product on my lips whatsoever. I didn't do lip balm, lip oil. I knew I was filming this video. I didn't want to try wiping it off. So we're going straight in with no lip primer. And for this product, I got their Fix Lip Pencil in the shade Paper Romance. So let me do a little swatch of it on my hand. Very creamy. Nice dark color. It's not something I really have. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy. Uh, a little too creamy. Ooh, okay. I like this. This is a very dark kind of grungy color. It's darker than I imagined it would be. I did picture it, it to be a little bit lighter. I did fill in the entirety of my lips, but I can definitely see this going well with like a dark lipstick. Yeah, this is nice. It's creamy. It feels a little bit dry on the lips, I will say, but I love the color. Oh my gosh, this is a very pretty dark grungy color. Okay, and so for their lip gloss, what is this officially called? Their Light Lock Lip Gloss in the shade Prelude. So it's just kind of like this clear, clear like shimmery gloss. I love glosses in the packaging. It's like rigid, so it's not completely strong, but like the packaging is super pretty. So I love a light shimmery gloss. And this was just, oh my gosh, this is pigmented. Okay. It has some gold reflex in it. The wand is pretty small. But it smells a little minty. It's not marketed as a plumping gloss, but it definitely smells minty. Okay. Lightweight formula. I will say I got a bunch of the lip product on the gloss, so I'm trying to wipe it off on the back of my hand. Do you want to smell it? Yeah, you don't like it. I know you don't like it. But yeah, it's a definitely more of a lightweight gloss. It's not really heavy. It's not really sticky. I can definitely see myself wearing this gloss like on an everyday basis. This gloss is right up my alley with one of my more closer to skin tone lip liners. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This is definitely a gloss that I can throw in my purse before work. And thank goodness. Thank goodness I have some pretty amazing views. Let me grab my eyeshadow primer. I'm going to be using the Milani today because we're testing out new product. So, but I will say that the impossible happened. I no longer have to wear a mask at work. So I've been wearing a lot more makeup. I've been back into doing a full face of makeup every day. And it's so nice. Like the first day when we got the news, I was like, WTF, like what am I doing? This feels wrong. But by the second day, it was like I never had to wear a mask in the first place. It just kind of sucks a little bit because I just bought more face masks. We're supposed to use like disposable ones. And so I had just been buying black face masks for the past year and a half. And now I don't need them anymore. So I just feel so elated. I'm still not really applying my lip products throughout the day. I'm bringing them to work, but I'm not necessarily reapplying them. So I'll have to test the lasting power of the gloss and the lip liner. I don't think I'm going to do this combo again, per se. I think I'm going to use one of my other glosses with this lip liner. This is usually just how I like to do my lips is just doing a lip liner all over my lips and then adding a gloss on top. That's just kind of been my go-to application of choice with these products. So this kind of, all right, I have the eyeshadow primer tapped out and I'm going to give it 30 seconds, but as I'm doing that, we're going to talk about the three the three eye paints I got. So these first two are a matte and first uh, what uh, Vertigo. 
Vertigo is this nice lime green. And then I have the shade I need my glasses for. Oh my gosh, I cannot read this shade at all. I can't read it. I can't read it, but it's this bright like orchid color. Okay, so <laughs> these are the two. And then I bought one of their metallic ones, which is in the shade Tin Pan Alley. So I'm gonna be using this all over the lid. And I've seen like people like exclusively like use these like with brushes and I'm trying to find like good brushes to use them with. So I have never used liquid eyeshadows before. <laughs> this is my first time ever playing with liquid eyeshadows. So we're gonna be in for a ride. This this is definitely a trip. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I can't be like, oh, this is different compared to other ones. This is me being completely new. And so I wanna focus this on the inside part of my lid. I'm not sure how much product to apply. I really don't know what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and kind of focus this on like the inside part of my lid on like the inside like the inner half and it's definitely blending out bye miss but I don't I don't know what to think of this I really don't know what I'm doing but we're just taking this it's blend I probably didn't need to use as much product as I just used but it's nice i don't know what i'm doing but i kind of have this idea for like a split pan now i need to apply more product i was kind of thinking of doing like a blue purple look or green purple look combo so that was kind of like my idea of doing this doesn't go with the lip as well at all Oh, this does not go with the lip product at all, but we're, we're making it work. I think the lip liner, I'm definitely going to have to find like different colors to pair it with because it is such a moment in time where it really needs to stand on its own. But I love the gloss. And this is, I didn't apply as much product on this side as I did to the other eye. So we're just kind of seeing how this goes. It's really easy to use. I'm not having any issues with it. Yeah, it's super pigmented. It's really blendable. I think I am going to set this with an eyeshadow just to kind of see. I don't really have, oh, I do have a lime green that would match this pretty well, but that's not in arm's reach. I'm going to use something that's not, that is in arm's reach. But this is pretty. I'm going to go into the orchid shade that I can't read. <laughs> the font is so small. So I'm going to put this on the outer portion of my lid. Just working on one eye at a time. See how this one goes and blends in with the green. I'm going to try to not do as much blending into the green. But... Okay, this color goes really nice with the lip. Okay. It's shearing out a little bit. Yeah, it's really shearing out. The green was so impactful. Where this one is... It's a lot more subtle. Let's try building it up a little bit more. I do not like this color as much as I like the green. This is sort of like blending into nothing. I mean, you definitely see it, but it's not nearly as pigmented as the green. Yeah, I don't really care for this color. And it's a lot dark. It's like, I expected more of a poppy color, like from what you can see in the tube, than like, the eye compared to the tube is so different so i'm not really vibing with it but i don't know we're, we're just playing around completely new products to me completely 
new whatever this is. I love the green. I can definitely see myself using the green a lot. But this purple I think is a bust. Looks a little intense. <laughs> With the bright blush, I should not have combined all three of these pieces. I should not have. Because we're going with a really bold eye, a really bold blush, a really bold lip. This is a little intense. So I was trying to work out the lower lash line a little bit. So I'm going to actually put this on the back of my hand for this and work on the lower lash line. I don't want to put this directly on there but I kind of want to do like purple on the inside and then green on the outside and we'll see how this stacks up with watery eyes so far I'm not impressed with that okay <laughs> this is really this is so intense I brought the shadows up way too high for this which I always bring up the shadows really high but it just seems a lot more intense than usual like you're probably questioning do I even know how to apply makeup in this video that's probably the question rolling through your head but like I don't I don't know I'm definitely gonna do winged eyeliner I wasn't planning to do a wing today but I think to ground the look I'm gonna do a wing so let me take the green on the back of my hand and I'll focus this on the outside edge but I think it's setting down pretty nicely I kind of wonder if I do need to set it with powder maybe I won't just to test this out today but I mean the green is so so pretty I love the green it's just this purple shade I'm just not falling in love with but yeah I don't think I'm going to set this with powder just kind of test to see if it creases enough or anything but so the green is definitely a lot nicer than the purple let me just kind of pat my fingers yeah this sat down or this sit down pretty nicely my eye is watering so but it's plenty it's it's definitely a moment. Hi Moose, he's back. This is definitely a moment. Okay, so I don't know how to think or how to feel. I don't know. Let's try the fractal eye paint. And this I'm going to blend out with my finger on the lid. Let's try swatching this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay, Moose, get comfortable. Get comfortable, Bubby. No, this is not the time to start kneading. Not, not now. Okay, get down. Good boy. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So let's try this on the eyes. See how this blends out. It's a triangle applicator. Okay, I'm not going to add that much. Okay. Just going to blend this out with my finger. Yeah, you can definitely see the color peeking through, which I'm not mad at. That's kind of what I was hoping for, for this to be a little sheer. Oh my gosh, it's definitely picking up the green from underneath it. Oh, this is pretty. I can definitely see myself using this on like easy makeup days where I want just like a little bit of sparkle on my lid you know do you like maybe a bright color on my lids and then just kind of add this for a little sparkle that's pretty this is pretty oh my gosh so I'm gonna add a little bit more to this eye because I kind of went back in for a second dip on the other eye. So here it is on the lids. I love this. Between the green and this one, which is again in the shade Tin Pan Alley, I love this. Oh my gosh, this is so amazingly good. And it dries down pretty nice. Let me try blending it out with my finger 
on the back of my hand just so we can kind of see it more blended out. I feel like you could use a brush with this but I kind of like the application with my finger for this more glittery shade and it doesn't have, it has glitter in it. Yeah, it definitely does, but it's kind of like a fine glitter, and the base is just so pretty. It's like this ivory shade. Here it is, blended out with my finger on my hand, and the shine of it, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. This is, this is super pretty. So I'm going to step away and, well, I'm not going to step away. I'm just going to press pause and try to, let's see how this works, getting rid of it on my hand. The lip liner does not want to budge. Okay. High helps for the lip liner. I am like scraping at my hand to try to get this product off. And the lip liner just wants to stay put. Okay. That's good to know. That's a nice test of it. Hi. Good boy. Okay. So I'm going to do my dye liner. I think I'm going to use black in my waterline because I need to crown this look somehow because it's really clown makeup. This is clown makeup to the extreme. So let me do those things and I will be right back. Okay, so here is the finished look. <laughs> I kind of look like a clown. I'm not gonna lie. The lip is so much more bold than I imagined it to be. Oh my goodness, it's getting dark. <laughs> the sun is rising and it's getting a little bit dark, but let's go through the products real quick. So the blush, I love the color of the blush. I love it so much. It blends out a little weird. I just realized I did not use highlighter. It's fine. I don't have to use high. This would be such a pretty highlight. Should I do that? I put down my mirror. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. I'm scared. But besides the blush falling out of the pan, which I will need to glue back in, it's a, such a pretty color. It blends out a little weird, like I said, but I do really love the color. Let's talk about the lip liner. This is so much darker than I imagined it to be, but I think I have this really dark brown lethal lipstick that I think this lip liner would be perfect for. I think the, that lipstick and this lip liner would be a match made in heaven. The gloss I am such a fan of already. It's very lightweight. It has a little bit of tack to it but like if the wind blows I don't think it's gonna like get in my hair and kind of like smear it across my face kind of look. So I really love the gloss so far. I am definitely gonna use this tomorrow and probably all throughout the week because I just love this gloss so much. But so this is definitely a fave. Another fave for me is the lime green one. I think this blended out beautifully. I think it's pigmented. I think it's intense. The bummer for for sure probably the worst product that I tried in this video is the purple one. It's just not as intense. I think it goes with the lip uh, pr pretty well but it just is kind of patchy. It's not intense. It definitely does not match the packaging on the outside so I'm pretty bummed by this. I will keep testing this color. Maybe use it as like a base to an eyeshadow look instead of doing like all up in my crease but this green I could just see myself using this green so much. This is definitely a hit. And then the fractal one, it is so pretty. This is such a pretty color. It matches the lip gloss pretty well, actually. So this is definitely a hit for me. Definitely can see it on just lazy eye looks days or if I sleep in a little bit and I just still want to apply makeup before work but I don't have a lot of time. Even just throwing this on the lids on its own without like anything in my crease or something, this would be such a pretty look. And so for the majority of the products I tried, they're hits. They're hits in different ways. They're each, you know, it's not a flaw. From what I've tried, this is not like a flawless brand to me. I'm gonna keep an eye out for their next releases and maybe pick something up. I can definitely see myself. There's a very bright purple in this shade and it terrifies the living hell out of me, but part of me is also like, maybe I should try it. So these blushes, I can definitely see myself picking up. My nose is running. Part of me can see myself picking more of these blush shades up. I actually, I think they're in part of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I know a couple of Balfi's products are, but I don't know if 
I think maybe the blush and the lip line is part of the 21 Days of Beauty. And if that's the case, I might pick up a shade or two more of these blushes because I think it's so fantastic, even though it blends out a little bit weird. The Fractual Eye Paints, I could definitely see myself picking up. And then the gloss. I don't know if I can see myself picking up more shades of this gloss because I'm really content with the one that I have. But that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I really love testing out the products today. I had a lot of fun and I would love to see you again on my channel. Leave comments down below telling me what are your favorite about face products or or a product that you want to try. I was terrified of the eye of the mascara because it's a rubble bristle and I hate those kind of mascara wands. That's why I didn't pick it up. But I, I think they have they have like these Another lip product, which kind of seems like a sheer lipstick, those I definitely want to try in the future. I just really was excited about the gloss and lip liner, so I skipped that. But let me know your thoughts down below. Is this total clown makeup? Did I just go far, way too far with this look? Did I just try to do as many outlandish things as possible? Let me know, and as always, have joy.